What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we finally finished a trial right here. Um, yeah, defeated a few grass-type Pokemon and all that. And now it is finally time for us to move on ahead, see what's out there. Because we still got the grand trial to finish up. Yeah, there is a grand trial. Didn't I, Well, I, I, I knew about it, I just didn't realize it. So... Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get the heck out of here. I think we need to get to Route 6 or what's, uh, or something. This is where we captured uh, with that little bug Pokemon. Jeebus, I am lost. Oh, damn. Anywho. Anywho. Let's see what else we can actually do right here. Let's see. We're going to be going down right here, and uh, we're going to be heading back uh, to where we started right here. Now, we already got all the items around this area and eventually got to figure out that, well, damn, that's, uh, that's where we... You know, that's where we started. And let's see. I think there was something else right here. Nah. Obviously, I'm a little confused right now. So we're going to be moving on ahead. And I'm trying to figure out where in the heck am I supposed to go now since we've already completed this. So this is Panolia uh, Ra Ranch. That's where we can breed Pokemon. And, well, let's see. How is yelling at us? He's like, hey, Draven, how's it? What the hell? I knew you would be here. Oh, look at that. It's our rival slash friend. Well, he's more tolerable than Hop, okay? I just finished up Mala's tri trial, you know? Whew, that Mala special of hers it was just about as good enough uh, to break my mouth, eh? You headed to the Dimensional Research Lab? You should just keep going straight away that way. Maybe I'll catch you uh, there later. Oh, okay, so that's where we are going now. And I think we've defeated everybody right here. Okay, so here we are, Route 6. And... It looks like to me that we're going to be going uh, south instead of going into the Royal uh, Avenue right here. And let's see. I think we've already taken, taken on her. Yes, we have. Wasn't expecting a battle. And I see an arrow or I see a flag right there. And, well, would you look at that. Hia Hia City. And this guy is going to be looking at us like, Sorry, but my stuntler from Scotland is a real thorough kind and likes uh, to uncover every st last stone. The two of us are gonna go keep on uh, keep on going like this until we uncover every la last item between here and the Hano Grand Resort. Okay. So basically, that basically means that well, that's a nice way of saying, uh, yeah, don't cross this area. You have to go right here. And who is she? Wait a sec. How do I get to Panolia again? Was it going down Route Four or um? Uh, yeah, she she's lost just as like just like I am. Okay, so here we are, and would you look at that? Mm, 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 mm. Go, Nebby! You s splash! And Nebby's not really doing anything. Nebby doesn't know what, what's going on. <laughs> I was just acting like I was Draven. Ooh, so you mean she was thinking about us? You, you always seem to end up getting hurt, Nebby. So I never really liked Pokemon trainers, or though that I thought would want uh, to be by myself. But when I see Draven and how. It's like they've gotten open, uh, got open the sand, some door, and that I always thought was closed. They stride straight up through it into the future. It seems so amazing somehow. Hmm. So you mean to tell me she was actually thinking of me? You mean there's a chance? There is a chance. And little, uh, little Nebby looking at us like, oh. Yep, heard everything. You're into me, aren't you? Oh, um, Draven, hello. I feel like it's been a while since we last met. There's a lab here at the studies that, that studies the dimensions, did you know? And the professor is waiting to meet you. How, how, how are your trials? It must have been quite uh, trying to, uh, to do three in a row. Yeah, I'm just going to be like, it was, no, it was no, no problem whatsoever. Goodness, really? It wasn't any trouble for you to tackle all three Akala Island trials? Nope. Suppose that explains it. The reason you look so content and understood by Flitchenders uh, there, I mean, I well, I didn't even read that correctly. Okay, so she's going in there. I can walk. I can watch her walk for days. Okay, so first is first. There's an obvious thing right here, and look at that. We found ourselves a Zygarde cube again, and we're getting a message, and it's Cena. You've collected 10% so far. 
If you'd like to know what uh, is the number, what the number is, what this number means, please come to the Aether base on Route 16 on Oula Oula Island. Oula Oula. You've got a, you're getting warmer. Bon chance. Don't know what that means. Okay. Oh, she's French. Yes. Uh, first is first. Let's see. There's an item right here. Nope. You can go right here, and here we have a big mushroom. Got to love the big mushrooms. Okay, so let's go straight into the into the lab right here. And all right, where's my woman? You're going to the dimension uh, dimensional research lab, aren't you? Anyone could tell. After all, there's nothing upstairs. Okay, so okay, do I go right here? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what's up. Okay, so which floor would you like to go? Let's go to floor number three because I guess floor number two. There's nothing, and right when we get into the third floor, Ray Mysterio, I mean Professor Kukui, is here, and he's like, hey there, honey. Well, hello there. Oh, hi. Wait. Th this here, Professor Burnett, she runs a dimensional research lab, yeah? And she's also my wife. You don't say. You're Draven, right? Lily told me about you. She said that you were a reliable sort. What else did she say? <laughs> Three months ago, I found Lily lying on the beach. Cosmog in her uh, bag also unconscious. Cosmog? Hum, no how today? How? He's out there doing his own thing. But he'll be the real deal someday. No, he won't. He could even become a kahuna, just like his old hala before him. You really think so? Whoa. Well, yeah, I really do. Good to see you again, Hao. It's been a while since I last seen you. Anywho, I brought Draven here because I wanted to t wanted you to tell him about some sort of mysterious phenomena here in Alola. I'd be happy to. The mysterious of uh, the mysteries of Alola, huh? Then you've got to mean the Ultra Wormhole. Oh damn! It's extremely rare, but sometimes a, a hole opens up in the sky over Alola. It appears that this that this rift leads to a different and unknown dimension. There's a reason that the people think that there are many, uh, there may be a mysterious dimension is because of the legends of the fearsome Pokemon appear from the Ultra Wormhole. Phew! It's a very weak, uh, it's very weak as proof, but I can't ignore it. There's also plenty of evidence already in the Pokedex for the existence of different dimensions, right? Fearsome Pokemon? Even normal wild Pokemon sometimes attack people, right? But the Pokemon that appear from the Ultra Wormhole went way beyond that. They are called the Ultra Beasts, and they are they were feared. If the stories are to be uh, to be believed, the guardian deities of the island fought desperately against them. But like I said, it's all legends and folk tales. It's hard to know which uh, how much is true. But I would ve be very happy if I knew somehow somehow unravel the mysteries of the Ultra Wormhole by studying the dimensional disturbances. We've recorded several known relationships between Pokemon and different dimensions in the books. You could find them on the bookshelf in this lab. Well, well, it looks like we're gonna have to read a little. You know, we 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 really don't know how to read. Okay, so what is a? Uh, okay, where are the? Oh, okay, we're gonna have to go right here, I think. And let's see, Bronzog. It is. It brought rains by opening portals to another world. It was revered as a brighter of plentiful harvests. Huh. What about this one? Giratina. This Pokemon is said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours, where common knowledge is disordered and strange. Huh. Palkia. Its total control over the boundaries of space it enable it to transport itself to faraway places or even other dimensions. And then, let's see, where's Giratina, uh, Bronzong, and Magnemite. Okay. Uh, let's see. Maybe she was talking about this? See, I, well, slowpoke's in my way, so yeah. I, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, there are many writings about the interdream zone that exists between reality and dreams, and there are. Okay, yeah, I already read this. Okay, so maybe I should talk to her. We recorded several noon. Uh, rec okay, I already read this. Find them in the bookshelf in this lab. Okay, okay. So I've already read the bookshelves. We're in the living. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, we can't escape, so... Okay, so bookshelves, bookshelves. We've already read those. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Um, This one. Nope. 
Okay, what about that one? Nope. How about this? Get out of the way, Slowpoke. How about that one? Nope. How about now? Uh, how about this? Nope. How about that? And brunette, a couple. Okay, I still can't believe you caught that. Uh, okay, I'm pressing A to everything. And I still can't find anything. Okay. Okay, Giratina. Okay, and then what about this? Professor in Peru? Okay. Oh, let's talk to her. Oh, okay. You want to know what happened to, happened three months ago? Well, I wanted to learn more about Nebby. I mean, about Cosmog. So, I decided to speak to Professor Burnett. But I got lost along the way and ended up wondering about until I collapsed to the shore. She listened to my story, staying up all night to hear it, and then she even got her husband, Professor Kukui, to lend me a loft uh, to stay in. And she told him to help me investigate. Nebby's origins, too. Professor Burnett has been so kind, and she's still helping me try to find my way to Nebby to get Nebby back to its home. She's been like, like a real mother to me. Oh, damn. Shots fired, I think. Probably. I don't know. Um, okay, so if we did that... Now can we read it? Let's see. Right here. Many things. Okay, so we did that. Let's talk to her. And relationships. Okay, you, you, you've said this to me before. Okay, what if we read this? That. Okay, they won't do anything. Uh, how about this? Let's talk to this guy. I'm off the clock, or I'm off to check off the next. Uh, okay, yeah, I've already been there. No, I haven't. Okay, so what, what's next? Okay, how about that, Draven? If Ultra Beasts are really out there, I wonder what kind of moves that you can use. You finished all three of the college trials. Whew! And now comes the big match against Olivia in the island Kahuna. It's the biggest and baddest trial of them all here in Akala, the Grand Trial. Good luck. Olivia's house is past the Glitz Tunnel. It's uh, in Koni Koni uh, City. But watch out there. Watch out for Team Skull. I still have some things I want to talk to Professor Burnett about, so I'll stay here. I'm off to check out the Diglett's uh, Tunnel next. It's a whole cave made of Pokemon, right? Wow, you are not the smartest kid right there, right? Not really. This is what makes you very, very tolerable. Okay. Let's go to the first floor. And uh, let's see what, what, what happens right here. Let's take, let's, let's take care of business now. Okay, so we're stepping outside right here. And... Look what happens. What was that just now? It looked like a crack in the sky. Well, it could only happen when I'm coming out. Holy crud, holy crud. Hey, hey Draven. So you made it through all three captain's trials, yeah? Then you should go try to uh, meet uh, uh, Kahuna Olivia. She lives up uh, the town past the Diglett's Tunnel. Diglett's Tunnel is, well, let's see. From here, it's kind of near the PMC. It's easy to work past it, though, so keep uh, your eyes peeled. Hmm. Now it's uh, Malasada time for me. Oh, this guy really loves his stomach and stuff. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna save the Diglett's Cave for the next episode. Kind of wanna like uh, take a breather. May this episode was about the whole, uh, the whole uh, dimensional rift and all that crud. In the next episode, we are going to be going into the Diglett's Cave. We're gonna be figuring out what's in there. You know, fun stuff and everything. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.